Hey everyone, this video is to show you how to get into the Mount Whitney Lottery Permit System using the reservation system at recreation.gov. You can see I just typed in Mount Whitney Permits. You can put that right into your Google search bar. In this case, I already went to recreation.gov and it pulled up here, Whitney Permits. And you click on that and it's going to take you right over to here. Now, I'm already logged in as myself and so certainly you want to create a recreation.gov account. This is where you'll go for permits, not just for Whitney, but other backcountry permits in the High Sierra, especially now that we are no longer doing walk-ins at regular ranger stations because of COVID-19. So over here, we can register into the open lottery, just a description of kind of the season and even the schedule around the permits. So that is a nice thing to review once you've submitted, but let's go ahead and register for the open lottery. Now these are meant to be non-commercials and you want to have your information filled in here. It auto populates for me. Um, you're actually able to designate a few other people as the alternate permit holder. So this is really great if you already have a group and there's a chance that one person might get the permit but then cancel out and want to pass it on to someone else. If you haven't designated people, then you're not able to do that. So if you have a plan or a group, it could be good to add that. And then right here, you actually get 15 choices of dates. And so the whole idea of the lottery is that during prime season, we have to limit the number of people going up and down the mountain. And so it is competitive. You've got this window to submit and you can submit 15 different times, hoping that you get a date that is less popular than someone else and it gets selected. You can make that decision of how many different ones you want to submit. I'm just going to go for one right now, just so that we can go through this process. Once I click there, oh, I have the option of an overnight trail or a Whitney day use permit. So all routes, that means you can go up the North Fork, which is a Mountaineers route, and access to some of the more technical climbing like the east face of Whitney and Russell. Or you can do the Whitney Trail as an overnight since it is quite a long trail. Or if you did a day trip here, you could do the trail in a day. That's a 22 mile version. So you can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to say overnight trail. My group size is two. And then this is where I can start picking my dates. So everything starts up in May and it can still be kind of snowy depending on the year. So I'm going to decide maybe if I go for a midweek in June and I just know I'm going to book that time off, that that might be the best decision for me. Can scroll through and read through all the rules you're agreeing to there and then just proceed to your cart. So now just summarizing what I decided, I've got this one version uh, that I've picked for my permit. I didn't submit all 15, but I would highly recommend that you do. And even if you submit more than one, you still just have the $6 reservation fee. So it's $6, whether it's one or 15, and then you can click here and proceed to payment, and then you will be in the lottery and ready to win that chance to either do the trail in a day or overnight. And you have plenty of time right now to then train for whatever option you end up getting. I wish you the best of luck in getting your permit. And if you're interested in more information about permits, I'll be putting out some other videos talking about how to just get the regular permits in the High Sierra, especially because walk-ins aren't in person. And you can find more information about climbing Mount Whitney at my website. Take care.